Hey, this is Roland from netbooknews.com and .de, and we're right here in Dublin at the Migro Conference 2010. And this right here is a Lenovo IdeaPad S103T with Migro 1.1 on it. So let's check this out for a second. Um, the boot up is going to take about maybe like 25 seconds. And as you can see, this device has a glossy display because it's capacitive touch but the screen reacts nicely and yeah actually it's pretty usable with Migo there's a few kinks though which I'm gonna tell you about in a second All right. as with Migo you always get the menu bar on top with the my zone in f at first where you can actually see your appointments, tasks, the last tabs you opened, um, emails, tweets and everything else in one spot. If you've set up, set up a wireless connection before, it's going to connect to the web right away and you can get started working. So let's check out the interface. Second tab is zones where you can actually set up additional zones for whatever you like and you get to configure them just as you want. Next up is the applications menu. Since this is a Linux based operating system you get the usual or a couple of the usual um, apps that you probably know from other distributions. So we have Banshee, Chromium, Gsum, Messenger, whatever. Let's see There's a couple of small games, browser, email, messenger, and sync. The Banshee player, an image viewer, picture viewer, and a couple of office tools. There's no real office suit installed here, but you can easily do that yourself. And the system tool, tools in the end. Next up is the Twitter panel. You can actually, or Facebook and every other social networking app is going to be available right here. Next in line, the people panel with the messenger. Right here we have the browser, as I said, Chromium based. It actually works pretty nicely, except for one thing, which is the fact that the scroll bars on the edges of the screen are kind of way too small for a touch screen. So if you want to make sure you hit them right, you actually can because you can put your finger right next to the border of the screen and then you can actually be pretty sure that you have hit the right spot. But doesn't work all the time. Another problem that the Migo developers have to figure out is a way to have you just grab the page and scroll, but that's not implemented yet, so they got to work on this if they want to put Migo on tablets then. Let's get back to the home screen. Come on. didn't register. There you are. Next in line is the Banshee Media Player. There's a couple of songs on here. Um, it's all touch optimized, easy to use, nice big scroll buttons. Now if only the music would play. I think the sound is turned off right now. Um, With Banshee, you can actually access music and online media just as well. Um, next in line is the. Come on. Yeah, that's the settings panel. 
this is actually the basic settings panel if you click on all settings you're going to have access to every single thing that you can change about the notebook um, one thing we noticed is that there's no special settings for uh, the touchscreen so you won't be able to set that up from the beginning but I guess they're going to work on that too so in a later version there's probably going to be a tab for um, the touchscreen and back here we have the Bluetooth device setup screen and the wireless overview for setting up Wi-Fi, Ethernet and Bluetooth in the clock tab you get access to appointments, tasks and um, yeah the time actually and back here in the end there's the battery tab but right now this isn't going to show me anything because there's no battery plugged in um, yeah this has been a short overview of Migo 1.1 on a Lenovo S10 3T at the Migo conference 2010 in Dublin I'm Roland for NetbookNewsDE and .com and I'll see you later Thank you.